going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fobs Up Dose, man. Hashtag Fobs Up Dose. Today, A2 Square Studio shows off their new lawn care starter pack. JHG Mining talks about the DB60 John Deere Planter for consoles. 40 Mining are making even more progress on their Heston Baylor. VSR Mining's new semi truck is in game. Sid Mining's got a gleaner combine. Dutch Mining's hard at work on their new skid steer. Simulagri tees a ton of new mods. CNH Mining are working on an international semi truck. CM Mods is way ahead of me on mods. G Force Mining talks about the placeables for Lone Oak Farm. Missy B's new map is with Giants for testing right now. Plus, Oxygen David fr shows Oxygen David shows off farm number one on Shellington Valley. Let's check it out. At the time of recording, there's been no update to the testing list. However, if there is an update to the list once this video is released, I will be posting that on the community page as well as on my Facebook page. So if you haven't checked those places out, make sure you check them out. Starting off today's top stories, we have A2 Square Studio with information on their zero turn mower saying that now the winter is almost over, it's time for allergies, flowers, bees, and of course, grass. Here we get to see 82's new lawn care business starter pack featuring the Jackmoo Zero Turn Mower, which will have multiple wheel options, custom colors, and attachable implements. In addition to that, we will get a trailer to haul it around, which will include one with screens and one without screens. The container in the front is for unloading of grass to be moved from point A to point B. This will be going along with the TLX 2020, and it'll work perfectly with that, which is going to be getting a spring update as well. There's no release dates or estimates for this, as there never are with mods. However, we do know that this will be for all platforms. I want to thank David for sending over this information early to me, let you guys know what's going on. David is an amazing mod creator and an even better friend. Check him out if you haven't already. JAHD Modding is back with some information talking about their John Deere DB64 consoles. This is the John Deere Planter. The console version is in testing with Giants right now at the time of recording, which is super early on Tuesday morning. JAHD has had a decrease of polycal by over half from 740,000 down to only 330,000 on this planter. They've had to remodel the center frame, stairs, row units, wings, tanks, and more. They say that the PC and console versions will be different with reduced configurations and different parts. This is just something that comes along with getting mods onto consoles that were made on PC. There are limits to what PlayStation 4 and Xbox can do, and modders have to decrease the detail of their work to get them out for all platforms. That's why it's so hard to do. In addition, there will be no smart box option and less wheel and tank options. They say that gameplay will be the same between the two models, so nothing to worry about there with physics and animations being the same, though some collisions and scripts were fixed and upgraded, and those changes will be coming to the PC version as well. 40 Modding are making great progress on their 4900 Heston Baylor, which we have been following for quite a while now, almost daily. Today, they say the exterior panels and guardrails for older and newer version are completed Still remaining to be done and modeling of the oil reserve, optional nodder blower, and the hay dog, which is an interior component. Forty goes on to say that once a model and the Parkland Bell accumulator are fixed, the mod will be ready for texturing. And yes, the Hayboss G2 will be an option if you want to use this mod alongside the Straw Harvest DLC. VSR Modding have uploaded their first in-game pics of their VST Rux semi truck, which I absolutely love. Here we get to see it pulling different trailers with different color configurations, not only on the body, but the wheels as well. In addition to those configurations, we will also be getting wheel options from Lizard Road Tires and Trailboard Tires as well, and at least two different engine configurations, all of which were confirmed in posts previously. The map is on Felsbrand, so nothing crazy there, just a good looking truck. They say that it could be possible to get this on consoles, and they're trying to make that happen. Sid Modding teases us a little bit, showing off a Gleaner and John Deere saying, I'm constantly wondering what to do first. Would you like to see Gleaner combines in my performance? Nothing else is said, though I believe that is the John Deere X9 combine in the back, which looks to be coming along very well. What do you guys think about Gleaner? Dutch Modding shows off progress on their unbranded skid steer for all platforms. They've released a few videos showing off the modding process, so if you want to follow along with how mods are made, especially this one, check them out at the link below. Over the past few days, we've talked about equipment coming with Simulagri's FS19 Roland Pack. Today, we don't get any new information. Rather, we get a picture with lots of trailers at the store on Felsbrand. In here, we get to see not only the two trailers and the manure spreader that we've already talked about, but also some smaller trailers, bell trailer, animal trailer, IT runner trailers and containers, 
and another manure spreader. By the looks of it, we have lots more coming than we originally thought with this pack, so stay tuned for more information as it's available I'm getting real hyped about this pack. CNH Monica, something for PC players today, the International 9300 Eagle. They say that this will include a host of options, including three frame links, three axle configurations, standard, tag, and triple, four cabin options, including sleeper and day cabs. There will also be two different air filters and intakes, three grill patterns, two grill casings, five stack options, or now, and different fuel tank layouts depending on the axles and preferences. This is currently a work in progress, and again, this is a mod that is being made only for PC, as the poly count would just be too high for consoles. It's unknown if this will go to Mod Hub or not, but I'm going to assume that this will be a private release. CM Mods dropped some information on their pick pen right when FS News released yesterday, saying that the model is finished and is already sent off to Giants for testing for all platforms. This will hold 90 pigs and doesn't take up much space at all. Perfect for smaller or even mid-sized farms. Or heck, place 10 of them down and have 900 pigs. Let's go! <laughs> Either way, looking good and a big swinging fence door on the front. In addition to the pig pen, CM Mod says that this is testing week on Lawfold's Aberdeenshire. If all goes well, it will be sent off to Giants next week for testing for all platforms. Super excited for you guys to be able to play on this map. For those of you that are looking forward to the Lone Oak placeables, they failed. All of them failed. Giants wanted proof of permission to bring these mods as mods to all platforms because they belong to Bullet Bill, Lone Wolf, and Oxygen David. Permissions were all granted some time ago, so nothing to worry about there. These mods were re-uploaded with the proof and could be further down the list now than they were before because of their failed status. But they will still be coming. Just going to take a little bit longer, that's all. Missy B has been hard at work on not only her new map, but quite a few other mods as well. Starting off, she posted saying that her map with her farms and two mods, Slurry Yard and a Racking Storage, have all been submitted for testing. All of her mods come to all platforms, though you know that already, I'm sure. Uh, most maps do not pass the first time, so keep that in mind, but it's with Giants, so that is great. In addition, she's building a new version of her bunker shed, which will be a covered silage pit, which I love. There were problems with the first version, so it was removed by her from the mod hub. This will take its place once completed. And lastly today, we get our first close look at Oxygen David's new map, Chellington Valley. This is the first and main farm on the map, which is based off of the old Chellington Extended Farm. It is great for all types of farming, including arable, big equipment, animals, and will also include the main farmhouse. It's a big open farm with a tighter back area and workshop. There's also lots of storage for equipment and grain in the sheds, and includes two silage bunkers and two manure pits. This farm will have cows, chickens, and sheep, and there's going to be four access points into the farm making it easy to get in and out as well as getting to other parts of the map quickly. In addition to all that, the main farm will include a bell cell point and a silo for grain. This is just one of the 11 farms that are going to be on this map, which is insane! If you can think of it, Jellington Valley will have it. And yes, he's working on getting a console version as well so that everyone that plays Farming Simulator 19 gets to enjoy his new map. If you want to check out everything coming with this map, check out Farm Sim News that I released on Sunday, titled 2021 NMC Scarec, Oxy's new map revealed, and more, and go to the five minute mark. I spent almost four minutes talking about this new map, and I could have easily talked about it for much more. This is going to be epic. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes of Farm Sim News on the most current status of those other projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! I know you guys don't want it, but I think I'm going to have to trim my beard today. It's getting itchy.